It's time. It's time for the Tales of Jenny and Screech. The official music video. Now the only time I saw this was the live version. Um, which he, I believe he did in Brighton. And it was great. But I am very excited for the actual music video. Should be good. So we are going to get straight into Ren. The Tale of Jenny and Screech. Got the acoustic with him. That means good times. Let's get into it. Welcome back. Once again, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel as much as I can. Give me any criticism you need to give me. Let's get straight back into this. Thank you. Such a cool sound. <clears throat> it was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at another city. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet, she was heading back home to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you blame? Beautiful. We're on the very same night in a different place. There was this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old and out of his brain he'd been smoking gang with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief. At 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. This Jenny walked home all along. She felt this is great, but well, I just want to hear that so cool. The devil had set his sights on his soul. This gently walked home all along, she felt scared. Usually she was a right, but it was like there was something in the air. A divine intervention telling her to beware, maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared. Sirens sound in the distance to the beat of Jenny's feet. A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets. Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet. A poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech. Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me. If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free. I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me. I mean it. Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God, I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it girl? Wow. You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. Wow. Um wow that, that turned violent quickly. Um it was that rhyme scheme though. The last thing you'll need your last thing you'll see is a boy named Screech as he reached for the sheath of the blade that could cut through What was that? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at London City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame Oh damn, poor Jenny Poor Jenny the way he told that story was so, so cool. Okay. We're getting to Screech's tail now, I believe. Let's go. Nice. 
that guitar intro. Oh, story, it starts right to the end of the life of poor Jenny, clocked out like Big Ben. This screech, dear boy, where did he go? He melted in. The way he belches, where did he go? It's almost like he's. Like he's like, it's it's hard to explain, but he did that on purpose, as in to say, where did he go? Like screaming out, as to where is Screech? Where did he go? He melted into the black night, just like snow. Patrick man, let me in, please open the door I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up man, I'm not sure I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor I think I killed her Patrick, come on man, I can't knock no more But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 Good. No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind, does away Just before we get into this, this guy needs a Netflix deal or some sort of TV deal. The guy can act. Hey, babe, are you in? No, nothing really. I'm just a bit tired. Listen, can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sake! You. The way he was breathing heavily, as in screeches in panic mode. And then he stops, that's awesome. Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who said that's six foot three. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed With no time to hesitate He fired four bullets at Screech's chest Okay, that's impressive I wonder if he dropped a pick into the guitar to make the, the gunkock sound Either way, that was amazing Ah, oh, story, it ends right to the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless, and it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Wow. Sad story, but what a way of delivering it. And Sam did great work on the camera then. in the hospital gown
Wow. Perfect pitch. Very haunting sound as well. London City, far from pretty. Two zero zero five. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and blood stains. She saw lady. She's tired and frail To set the scene We must rewind The hands of time For Violet's tale Okay, that was awesome Was a silent girl grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Hey. And you can tell it's live because of the way the acoustics change as he walks into the hallway. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Jesus. Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco stacking And just for information, I live in a council house, so yeah, I can relate Jars like pickled bricks, she met a boy named Stevie And he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl and Violet, she felt far Sorry <laughs> the way he said Stevie was a little prick and then with Violet was a silent girl. She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick. Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast. See Stevie was the wrong and but he sure knew how to charm her. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark. Scumbag. She never stood a chance The devil comes to dance That was beautiful Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late And he stands by her bedside, she shakes But her eyes stay shut You fucking slut, I know you're up And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? Yeah. She stays silent, things turn violent That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone Full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack One to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached fist connects and disconnects a bone A quick deflect to misdirect the blow But nonetheless his punches met her throat Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent well, say something, Violet! Silence. Fucking say something, Violet! Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. She's dead. I just want to say, what a scumbag. I would love to get hold of him and punch his head in. London City, far from pretty to Not Ren, of course, the guy, the guy. Zero, zero, five, a lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, 
said she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence And she cried, if I'm to die right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed, the lights went dim In London City, far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Oh. <clears throat> wow. Um, I'm pretty fucking angry. Sorry for the swearing. I'm pretty pissed off at the. Uh, that was a brilliant, absolutely brilliant story. Just as a bloke, that really angers me. And the fact that Violet was Jenny and Screech's mother the whole time. And this is stuff that actually happens in, in the real world, which, which which messes with my head so badly, like, so many bad things that happen and we're powerless to do anything against it, and that, and that was a generational thing by the sounds of it. I'm a little bit too angry to actually comment if I'm angry, <laughs> if I'm angry, if I'm, if I'm honest at the moment, chaps, boys and girls, um, yeah. This stuff happens in, in real life all the time, and if you are a victim of any of this, I'm always here. If you need to speak to me, if you need to talk to me, if you need to message me, I will always have an ear open for any of my subscribers, any of my listeners, anyone who is going through anything like this. Please know that you're not alone, because... Yeah, there are some messed up men up out, out there, but there are some men that, that do not do stuff like that and would happily I mean I would happily would do 20 years in jail just for stabbing that guy in the eye that's how angry I am right now anyway <laughs> please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the reaction um, hopefully the sound quality was a little bit better this time and yeah I think I'll go and have a smoke <laughs> or something after this because wow the tales of Jenny and Screech please please like subscribe and yeah Recommend me more stuff and I will react to it. I love you all. Try and have a nice day. Remember, I'm always here if you need me. Always. Take care, guys. Mwah.